This is Apollo Control at 98 hours 24 minutes. We're about one minute away from acquisition of Apollo 10 on its 12th revolution of the moon. We'll find out at acquisition uh, how this undocking went. We'll stand by here live to uh, pick up the first communication. Madrid has acquisition now. We'll uh, wait for a good lockup, see whether he uh, comes uh, into acquisition with the television camera on or not. Got him right away, Tom. Hello, Snoop. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Snoop on high gain. How are you reading us? Bye bye. I mean. All right, reading you loud and clear. We're about uh, 30 or 40 feet away from him. Been station keeping for about five, ten minutes here. All right, you. Could you give us uh, poo and uh, data? We got a load for you, and you're ready to copy some pads. I sure am. Uh, let me give you poo and data. And I'm ready to copy. Roger, Gino. It's uh, DOI's first pad, and we got three pads for you, starting with DOI. I'll read them all through, through all of them, and then you can read me back, okay? Okay, it's uh, DOI 0 Niner. Right, go ahead. 0 Niner Niner 4 6. Zero zero eight niner minus zero zero six niner niner plus all balls minus zero zero one three eight delta VR zero zero seven one three zero two seven Three balls. Two seven five minus zero zero six niner eight plus all balls minus zero zero one four four. Coast star is Scorpi Delta minus zero two three. Minus one four six CSI time one zero three four five three four TPI time 
105-2101. With an N equal to 1. Phasing pad is next. If you're ready to copy, over. Roger, I'm ready to copy. Go ahead with phasing. Roger. One zero zero five eight two five two zero plus zero. All right. One. Go ahead. Okay, John said he's not reading you. Uh, while I'm copying this, he said he's got a picture of the limb. If you want to look at it on TV. Oh, we have it, Gino. Uh, we're ready to continue with uh, noun eighty one. If you're ready. I'm ready to copy. Go ahead. Plus zero one six 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 plus all balls minus zero zero five nine or four zero one seven six nine or zero four zero three balls two five five noun eighty six is plus zero one six seven five plus all ball minus zero zero five six eight and coas star is libra alpha that's libra alpha plus zero zero four minus one one niner. Okay, you're 100 degree east time. AOT breaker in time. Your 100 degree east time is three 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 one. Your phasing delta is minus five seconds. Zero five seconds. Site two time is one zero three zero. Over. Okay, Charlie, I got uh, everything except Delta VX on noun 81. All uh, right, your Delta VX on noun 81 is plus zero one six six six. And I got a PDI board pad if you'll just stand by, over. I'm waiting for you. Roger, uh, let me try to raise Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, Houston, over. Charlie Brown, Houston, over. Houston, this is Snoop. He's reading you loud and clear. Uh, Roger. Uh, uh, he's copying the pads, and we're not reading him at all, uh, Snoop. And I'm ready with the PDI board pad if you're ready to copy, over. Okay. Okay, PDI board, go ahead. One, zero, zero, four, three, four, five, Five zero plus zero zero nine or three one plus all balls plus three balls one point one zero zero nine three one a burn time is zero two two three balls two eight Three plus zero zero nine or three one plus zero 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 plus three balls two two N A on the rest of the pad thrust profile is fifteen seconds at ten percent and then manually throttle to full thrust until completion. CSI time, 1014425. TPI time, 1032225, with an N equal to 1, and I'm standing by for your readback. And uh, Snoop, you got your computer back. We're through with the load. Okay, Charlie, here they...
Uh, Snoop, uh, Houston, we aren't with you on the 69.2. Uh, Say again. I'm reading verb 82 out of the disky, 69.9 by, or 62.9 by 57.5. Stand by, we'll have it for you. Uh, Snoop, Houston, uh, Fido's checking, stand by. Uh, Snoop, uh, Houston, that's a go on the uh, after the surgery. Okay. We're about seven minutes away from the separation burn. Looks like we're pretty steady out here on the station, keeping John, once we got squared away on our attitudes. Okay. Uh, Snoop, uh, Houston, uh, we got a beautiful picture out there of the... Roger, I will. I'll mark it six minutes. Charlie Brown, okay, we, we finally got you. Over. No, that wasn't six minutes. What was it, Jose? Six minutes. Okay, I got five seconds to six minutes. Okay. Okay, six minutes and count down to step. Gotcha, babe. Charlie Brown, Houston, we're reading you five by now. Over. Roger, I got five minutes and 45 seconds to step, 44, 43, 42. We're right with you. Houston, this is Snoopy. Uh, with that drift you saw, uh, how do you expect our platform to be? How close to uh, good, good alignment? Right, uh, we expect uh, very small torquing angles in all axes, over. That's good to hear, thank you. Well, I hope we can get back on the nominal after that insulation kind of goofed us up, uh, Charlie, but uh, everything's looking good here. Uh, Roger, Tom, could you, uh, one question on the tracking light, have you tried it? Stand by. John, there's a tracking light for you. Yeah, please turn it off. It works. Great, thank you, we saw it. John, why don't you toss on your tracking light for a minute? Roger, that's mine. Maybe underneath the vehicle, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, I saw one reflection there. We're okay.
Okay, John, looks like about 2.30 coming up to set, baby. Roger, agree. Roger, agree. Roger, agree. Roger, agree. If you can pass on to our support divisions, this half of that film fax has failed about three or four times on us. Roger, Snoop, we copy. We're still getting some pictures, though. The basic camera's good, it's just the backing of the film in the magazine. Roger. This separation maneuver will... Okay, Houston, uh, coming up on uh, two minutes to set. I'm gonna sink, Mark. Rod, we copied one minute. Rog, you're right. Big Brother's watching. Up to good work, boys. You'll never know how big this thing gets when there ain't nobody in here but one guy. You'll never know how small it looks when you're as far away as we are. Okay, separation. Okay, you can see your thrust is firing there, John, and you're moving away. Okay. Go 5.3 on the disc in, 5.0 on EMS, and I, I'm zero on EMS. I'd be inclined to believe the EMS today. We copy, Kelly Brown. Okay, Jose, say adios, and we'll see you back in about six hours. Boy. Suit and Charlie Brown, we see you separating on the big tube. See you, John Evans. All right. Have a good time while we're gone, babe. Yeah, don't get lonesome out there, John. And don't accept any TEI update. Don't you worry, till you get back, I ain't, I ain't copying any more pads. Houston, this is Charlie Brown, over. Go ahead, Charlie Brown. Uh, Roger, while we were waiting uh, to come over the hill, we checked out VHF, uh, and we're right now on VHF a AMA and uh, receive only B data. Uh, beautiful. It sounds good. Thanks a lot. And don't, don't ask me to tell you what the Dickinson trouble was. Houston, one other interesting little fact. I could never get my eggs, uh, local vertical angle and, and verb 83 to agree until after we undock. Okay, uh, there, uh, Snoopy Babe, let's check out this duplex ranging, okay? Okay, I'll go to duplex ranging on your mark and we will be quiet and wait for your call. Roger, going to duplex ranging on my mark. Mark. 
You guys shut up because I can hear you. You have to maintain silence about the ship on that box mode. I'll give you, I'm going to re arrange and reset right now. How about that? 800, 700, 420 feet, 540 feet. Okay, babe. Uh, Roger, I hear you. I don't hear any background noise, just you. Hey, John, if you get a chance, you can turn on the radar transponder and we'll correlate the VHF ranging with it. Okay, my transponder is on. Transponder is on and the test switch is in operate. I should be getting a radar signal here and I sure don't. Hello, Houston, Houston, we have our new uh, uplink on the CSM state vector up. Stand by, we'll have it in a moment. Uh, Snoopy, uh, Houston, uh, we're ready with the load. Uh, Poo and data, over. Poo and data, you've got it. John, can you get any signal strength on your uh, fast part of there? I've got you a lot more sight on it. I don't get any rendezvous radar signal strength. Okay, am I below you or above you? Oh, uh, you're right at me. Okay, pitch up maybe a little bit. Roger. Pitch up a little more now. They okay. went. Okay, I'm looking right at, I'm more sighted on your transponder. I don't get any AGC strength. Okay, Tom, I checked it out this morning and the uh, AGC was good. I got uh, 3.6 volts on system, six, system test 1A, system test B, I got 2.1 volts on test. And then on C, I got 4 tenths of volt, I guess that was unlocked. Listen, you, you have us on a telemetry. Uh, I can't get the AGC signal here. We're only about a thousand feet away. Uh, Roger, uh, Snoop, we've been copying your uh, problems. Uh, we're working it down here, and uh, we've got your load in. The computer is yours again. Uh, stand by on the uh, radar. Listen, we had a real good radar self-test. Everything worked. I'm getting transmitting power, getting 3.2. We get the shaft area, the trunnion area, and the AGC. I've got the needles four-sided and centered, but we get no AGC. Uh, Roger, we copy. Uh, y your ping's needles are moving? Yep. I can, I can slew up and down and high rate and low rate everything. I've got him four-sided there. Roger, stand by. Houston, I'll run through the self-test again if you think that'll help any from this end. Uh, go down and look at it again. It might give it another try, John. Okay. Well, this is a no-go for uh, DOI. I've got your four-sided right there, and the needles are centered and nothing. Uh my AC rendezvous radar bus A breaker is in, and my ping's rendezvous radar is in. Break, break. Uh, Snoop, this is, uh, correction, Charlie Brown, this is Houston. Uh, we need you in the transponder position on the system's test before you get the proper readouts. Over. For the self-test of the right. Roger, I'm in the transponder position. R okay. Okay, uh, I'm reading the uh, test A. It's reading zero right now. Right now, B is reading zero. And it's also reading zero, but it was working a few 
minutes ago. Roger, did the original self test. Roger, stand by. Yeah, this thing is reading zero. Let me check the circuit breaker. Roger. Okay, the rendezvous transponder flight bus circuit breaker is in. Uh, Roger, uh, re how about trying to recycle the uh, power switch, uh, Charlie Brown? Hey, that did it, you guys. It's on. Hey, and I got signal strength, old buddy. What do you know about that? And I've got, got 3.2 on the AG. You got so much uh, AGC, I don't know what to do with it. John, I could kiss you. It was Charlie's idea to cycle a switch. That would never occur to me. It was it was our Ed's okay, idea we're there. On pretty good, huh? Uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, okay, we're ready to go ready with your load. Uh, three if three you'll give us, if you'll give us two and accept, Charlie Brown. Have it. What do you guys got for range? Uh, Roger. We've got 2,500 feet. We're going to get you some uh, rods out of here, John. And my optical bore sight is absolutely fantastic. It's right with the needle. At 0.37 miles. This is going to be very interesting. It keeps jumping. Point four miles. Okay, that looks real good uh, on my tape here. Houston, Charlie Brown, the reason I believe the EMS over the over the uh, DMC was I had three tenths of a foot per second of fib bias before I ever started to maneuver over. Here Ro comes in from the sunset. Roger, we copy, over. Okay, John, now we're out here in Earthshine. How about turn on your flashing light, Jose? Beautiful, you got a nice, looks like the old Jiminy Eugene, would you believe it? Roger. All right, Roger, you can go start on a P-52. I, I haven't, I saw your tracking light there briefly, but I haven't seen it since. Charlie Brown, Houston, uh, CMC is yours. Roger, thank you. John, you see the tracking light now, it's on. Can, can you guys see it flashing? No. No. All right. I, I see it. Okay. Okay, John, uh, I'm ready when you are to go to VHFA Simplex and Data. Okay. On your mark, send blacks and data. Okay, simplex data. It'll be Charlie Brown, how do you read? Roger, loud and clear, John. How are you, John? Did you say? Okay, uh, we're going to terminate our, uh, our uh, radar track here to go on a P-52.
Charlie Brown Smith, you can go ahead and kill the tube anytime you want to and put the cover over it. Say again, over. All right, you can go ahead and uh, kill the uh, TV and put the cover over the tube. I've done all that already. Roger, Roger. I try to hold your tracking light now. Are you are you able to do a PP to two with that light on? I think so, John. I'm going to try it. That's beautiful. Can you see mine? Oh yeah, John. You're absolutely great. The maneuver, yeah, it's flashing about every second. Just beautiful. Okay, we're going to auto maneuver to fire star. Got you in a sextant, John, in my telescope right now. You're passing through it. Roger. Well, I tell you, that's black out there, isn't it? No other color to describe that. Houston, we've reached the limits on the high gain. Uh, go to Omni's over. Uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, uh, passed the snoop that uh, he has reached his tracking limits on the high gain. Uh, please go to Omni's over. Okay, hey, uh, hey. Gino, go to Omni's. Your high gains has reached his limits. Charlie Brown, uh, Houston passed the snoop. That we, we, I got a beautiful sight. Charlie Brown, Houston passed the snoop that uh, we Go like. Ahead there, uh, okay, I'm talking. <laughs> pass the, uh, uh, pass the uh, on the snoop uh, that we like the aft antenna over. Roger, they want the aft antenna there, uh, Snoop, babe. Yeah, I can see it myself. Hey, did, did, you, did you hear they want the aft antenna? This is Apollo Control at 99 hours, 14 minutes. We still have uh, 23 minutes left in this pass before we lose signal. Just prior to the uh, loss of signal, Snoopy will be given a go, no-go for the descent orbit insertion, which will take place behind the moon. Both vehicles are now in small, equal period orbits. 
the uh, separation maneuver was performed by the command and service module, Charlie Brown. It's, it sent Charlie Brown uh, down and ahead of Snoopy, however, on the relative motion plot. And from Charlie Brown's point of view, Snoopy was going above and behind him. Maximum distance in this uh, in this orbit would be about differential height would be close to five miles and not quite two nautical miles uh, distance separating them. Hello, uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston. A uh, couple of reminders. We'd like your Delta V CG to go to CSM and uh, B Mags to uh, either rate one or rate two. Your choice. Thank you kindly. Roger, Roger. Out. The descent orbit insertion will be performed one half a revolution after the separation maneuver. Time for the descent orbit insertion, 99 hours, 46 minutes. Charlie Brown, uh, coming up the LOS for you, uh, 16 minutes and uh, 30 seconds, Mark. And uh, we'll see you AOS at uh, 124. Uh, Charlie Brown. Uh, could you give me the LOS and GET? All right, your LOS uh, GET is 99-37-32, over. Roger, thank you. And uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, uh, we noticed the red out temp a little high, and uh, if you get a uh, little stuffy in there, we recommend you activate the secondary evaporator and the secondary pump. And then when you cool down, you can just turn off the evap and leave the pump running. Uh, your choice, over. All right, the cabin temperature is 74, and the suit temperature is, is uh, 51. Can't beat that. Sounds like uptown, over. It's someplace, I mean, tell you. And uh, Charlie Brown, if you hear some good words from uh, Snoop, we still don't have any data. And uh, uh, if uh, they pass on to you about their P-52, we'd be interested. Over. Roger. Hey, uh, Snoopy, how's your P-52 going? T-52 is the, pro is the uh, platform realignment in the lunar module. Gene Cern is doing that while uh, Tom Stafford is running systems checks on other systems. Uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, you can go back to block on your uh, up telemetry switch. Okay, I wouldn't want anybody to send me any bad data on the backside. Right.
Uh, did you talk to Snoop there? Uh, Charlie Brown, over. Yeah, I Hey, Snoopy, this is Charlie Brown, over. Is uh, Gino Keen his mic all the time? Sometimes I hear him and sometimes I don't. Maybe that feed through problem isn't as bad as they thought. Houston, Snoop's calling ya. Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, we don't read Snoop. Uh, we haven't locked up on his data yet, over. Roger, did you hear that, uh, Houston? Uh, that's negative, Charlie Brown, you over. You've been monitoring his descent. You You've been monitoring his descent stage fuel pressure. The gauge went to zero doing a P-52 burn. Roger, Charlie Brown. Uh, we have no data at all. Over. Okay. Snoopy, this is Charlie Brown. Houston doesn't have any data from you today. Right now. Uh, Charlie Brown, uh, Houston, uh, tell Snoop to do a, a verb 64, get us the high gain, and we got another transducer that we can verify that pressure. Over. Difference was 
four balls, nine. Zero torquid angles, R, minus six, six, eight, minus one, nine, five, minus zero, five, five. Over. Roger, we copy, uh, Snoop, go out. Uh, Roger, and the initial uh, acquisition of the star from the docked IMU line looked pretty good. Uh, Houston, this is Snoopy Wins AOS, or LOS rather. Uh, Roger, we're coming up on LOS for you at uh, 99.37, correction, 99.38. We'll see you AOS at uh, 126, over. Hey, Tom, what was your biggest jar target angle, over? I got him, Charlie. Roger, your biggest jar target angle was uh, register 1 minus 668. That point six six. It was two balls six six eight. Two balls one nine five, and three balls five five. All minus. Right. Uh, Snoopy, uh, Houston, uh, we got uh, some word on your Hasselblad uh, problem. On the magazine uh, problem, uh, we'd like you to reset the magazine flag so that the red just disappears and no further. If this doesn't work consistently, then change magazines. Over. They already well, know that technique here. That's why we change magazines. Over. Uh, Roger, we copy. Out. Hello, uh, Snoop and Charlie Brown. This is Houston. Houston you're, you're satisfied you're, with the Snoop and uh, Houston, you're a go for uh, DOI. Uh, recommend you check uh, on CB16 display engine override breaker. Uh, it might recover your decent uh, monitoring capability. Over. Roger. Uh, there's no breakers out there that hurt that, Charlie. I'm going, uh, as long as you're satisfied, I'm going Omni at this time. Roger, we copy. Got four minutes. Okay, I did, uh, when I went that P-52 and I slammed the S-band into the stops, I did pop my uh, S-band uh, antenna breaker under COM on panel 16. Roger, copy.
Uh, Snoop, uh, Houston, we show two minutes to LOS for you. Uh, can you read me over? Houston, uh, 45 seconds to uh, LOS. Uh, you're still go uh, for DOI. Roger. What? What is my P20 doing? Can anybody tell me? Stand by. Charlie Brown, Houston, it's integrating a state vector, C-20. Well, this This is Apollo Control at 99 hours, 38 minutes, and we have loss of signal on both vehicles. Charlie Brown going around the corner 25 seconds before Snoopy. This uh, separation maneuver has put the command module Charlie Brown uh, ahead of uh, Snoopy. Acquisition times uh, for Charlie Brown, 100 hours, 24 minutes. For Snoopy, 100 hours, 26 minutes. To uh, recap uh, the situation during this 12th revolution while we were in contact with Charlie Brown and Snoopy, as we acquired, the vehicles had undocked and were 30 to 40 feet away in, in station keeping. We passed up uh, a number of maneuver pads, times, and uh, delta Vs for the maneuvers that will take place in the rendezvous sequence. And I'll recap those times in a short time. Tom Stafford reported uh, some trouble with the uh, Hasselblad film pack, apparently uh, film jamming. We did pass up uh, later in the pass a uh, procedure to try to correct this situation. Advised him that if it did not correct it to uh, change magazines. The separation maneuver was performed on time. And the controllers here on the ground said that it, it was at the proper delta V, 2.5. We copied the orbital parameters just prior to separation uh, as 62.5 by 57.5 nautical miles. The uh, lunar module Snoopy would have stayed in that essentially that same uh, orbit. And the separation maneuver for uh, Charlie Brown was targeted for 
an orbit of 62.1 by 57.9 nautical miles, essentially the same orbit because two and a half feet per second uh, would not change that very much. We had a television pass during the separation, and as the vehicles uh, separated, you heard Gene Cernan caution John Young not to accept any TEI updates while they were gone. TEI, of course, is Trans-Earth Injection. And Tom Stafford and Gene Cernan want to find John Young there when they get back and complete this rendezvous. We then uh, appeared to have a rendezvous radar problem, which uh, eventually was tra traced to the transponder in the uh, command module. Some concern at the time that we would not be able to perform DOI, and we would not have been able to, to give Snoopy a go for DOI if the transponder uh, had not uh, become operable. We need the rendezvous radar for the rendezvous sequence. John Young recycled a power switch and got power back into the transponder and the uh, system is working fine. Snoopy cannot monitor the uh, propellant tank pressures for the descent propulsion system on board. However, we can look at them from the ground. We checked them prior to giving Snoopy a, a go for DOI, and those pressures are uh, very good, and we're not concerned about them. So Snoopy will be performing the descent orbit insertion burn at 99 hours, 46 minutes, the delta V of 71 point three feet per second and the duration of the burn uh, 59 seconds this will be uh, performed by the descent propulsion system at 10 percent throttle for the first 15 seconds and then uh, throttling to 40 percent for the remainder of the burn The orbit targeted uh, as a result of the DOI for Snoopy, 61.2 by 8.4 nautical miles. And as a result of this maneuver, Snoopy will start coming down to swoop over the uh, lunar landscape at uh, this low point. Paracynthian, the 8.4 miles, coming 15 degrees prior to reaching landing site two. Times on the uh, remainder of the maneuvers in the rendezvous sequence, phasing 100 hours, 58 minutes, 25 seconds. Again, uh, a descent propulsion system burn. Duration, 1 minute, 12 seconds. Delta V, 176.8 feet per second. And we're targeting for an orbit for Snoopy of 189.8 by 11.7 nautical miles. And the time for staging, which time Snoopy will uh, jettison the descent stage, 102 hours, 45 minutes. Ten minutes later, at 102 hours, 55 minutes and one second, the insertion maneuver will be performed. Duration of that maneuver is 10 seconds. Delta V, 220.9 feet per second. This will be performed with the ascent propulsion system. We're targeting for an orbit of 45.9 
by 10.7 nautical miles. The concentric sequence initiation maneuver, the CSI, at 103 hours, 45 minutes, 33 seconds. Duration of the burn, 51 seconds. Delta V, 45.9 feet per second. This will be performed with the lunar module reaction control system. Targeting for 47.7 by 41.9 nautical miles. The constant delta height, CDH maneuver at 104 hours, 43 minutes, 31 seconds. Duration, 58 seconds. Delta V of 2 feet per second. Again with the RCS system of the lunar module. Targeting for 47.8 by 42.1 nautical miles. Terminal phase initiation, TPI at 105 hours, 21 minutes, 1 second. Duration 38 seconds with the lunar module reaction control system. Delta V 24.7 feet per second. Resulting orbit 58.7 by 47.5 nautical miles. And the terminal phase uh, braking. to begin at 106 hours, 3 minutes, 57 seconds. Again, uh, an RCS maneuver in which the uh, lunar module will null its velocity and st start station keeping with uh, Charlie Brown. This is Mission Control Houston at 99 hours, 48 minutes.